Yes, the first weekend of freedom once again from wearing masks inside L.A. County. This applies if you are fully vaccinated or you have proof of a negative COVID test. And it went into effect at 12.01 on Friday, and it aligns with the city of L.A. Long Beach and Pasadena also eased their mask requirements. Hours later, the CDC dropped its recommendation for indoor mask wearing in much of our country, but not L.A. County, still categorizing our COVID level as high. It is very confusing. So if you've been in a business in the last day or two, you can attest. A lot of business owners just seem to either be late to the party and finding out things have changed once again, or they do still want to require their customers and employees to wear masks. So when you plan on going into business, you probably just want to bring one along just in case. We spoke to people walking around here, eating ice cream in Studio City on this sunny day, and their opinions of it are, well, all across the board. I think uh, the variant is pretty much disappearing. And I eat out pretty much every day, so um, I like it. I have my eyes on all day. I'm at, I work at the store at Wasteland, so we try to um, practice that there. I think it's gotten, you know, so political, so it's hard to even have an opinion about it. But I'm hoping that it's for the benefit of everyone and that we could get through this. It's still a lot of inconsistency in that the mask mandate's lifted, but you still have stores, some are requiring masks still. And so I think there's a lot of confusion. And so people are still care. Sometimes I would carry it around and then sometimes I wouldn't because I didn't think I needed it. But apparently I still needed it. Now, to give you perspective, over the last two years, the highest number of patients hospitalized with COVID in L.A. County at one time was more than 8,000. So right now we're at about an eighth of that. Now, the lowest number was 200, and that's about what we have right now in the ICU. And those are people whose, of course, their loved ones are praying and hoping that they're able to recover. So it's important to remember them and do our part to keep ourselves and those around us safe and healthy, even though our numbers are thankfully low. Reporting live here in Studio City, I'm Haley Winslow. Susan, back to you. All right, Haley, thank you. Yeah.